on behalf of the <coughs> officers and men of the NDLEA, I would like to appreciate His Excellency the Governor for his very warm reception and hospitality to us. He is a very busy governor and has been moving left and breath of the country and just arrived and we are very delighted that he was able to squeeze uh, us into his tight schedule today. I must take the opportunity to commend His Excellency for the tremendous work that he's doing in Kano, especially but not limited to the area of infrastructure with all the flyovers is crossing the state. Good roads, and very importantly, the matter of security. The North is under siege of bandits and kidnappers. But definitely, the Kano state government, through the grace of God, has denied them the space to perpetrate their evil here. Your Excellency, congratulations and commendations for this. Equally, in the area of health care, one of the debilitating health challenges these days in Nigeria before COVID is cancer, cancer care. And today, an international cancer center is being constructed right here in Kano State. This is worth commenting. In the area of fighting drug use and trafficking, definitely Kano State is in the forefront of the activities. So far, it is the one state that makes sure those to be saddled with the responsibility of public service first have to test negative. Otherwise, they will take the whole money and buy cocaine. Not to mention that their head will not be correct to discharge their responsibilities to the public. So this is a very, very commendable step. The rehabilitation center in Kiru <clears throat> is there as one of the areas, and I'm sure there are many more. We also must recognize the support given by the state uh, government to the NDLEA in this state. Indeed, only recently the former commander, Dr. Ibrahim, was given an award, which goes to, sh to show the type of partnership uh, enjoyed. Your Excellency, we appreciate that very much indeed. Drug use in Nigeria has reached the level that is destroying our families, communities, and unless it is tackled with all the seriousness that it deserves, um, the nation will be doomed. It is for this reason that under the mandate of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, the NDLA is upstanding to make sure that we deny both the users and traffickers access to drugs of all forms. In Kano, um, the prevalence is 16%, which is one in six persons within the age bracket of 15 and, and 64. That means there are about roughly 2 million drug users in the state. But we know uh, most of this is opioids rather than cannabis. The opioids, tramadol, codeine, cough syrups, that type of thing. We also know that the use of drugs has propelled criminal activities. Banditry, kidnapping, they all use drugs to be able to do their uh, nefarious activities. Uh, the NDLA is very comfortable that the Kano state government are worthy partners in tackling the drug scourge. Your Excellency, I should like to quickly mention that since 
January, when I took over the NDLEA, we've been able to seize drugs um, over 2 million kilograms of it, worth over 100 billion naira. That is significant money if you consider what it would have done if it were entered the hands of uh, all these criminals and criminal organizations. We've been able to jail 1,600 within this period and arrested over 8,000. And we are still working, are still working. In June uh, this year, June 26, the United Nations International Day Against Drug Abuse and Trafficking, uh, Mr. President launched WADA, War Against Drug Abuse, W-A-D-A. -A. And the purpose of WADA is totally to mobilize Nigerians towards preventing the use of drugs, stopping trafficking, destruction of the cultivated lands like cannabis and, and so on, the treatment of those who are, treatment and rehabilitation of those who are uh, using drugs. Um, this has to have a structure from the federal, state, local government and, uh, and community. We are proposing in the NDLEA that the states will have Drug Control Committee. I believe such already exists. In fact, the governor, the last time I visited under PASIDA, Presidential Advisory Committee for the Elimination of Drug Abuse, he mentioned that there is uh, some efforts that is new and novel that he wishes to introduce uh, the edict in this state to push this uh, further. We also believe the local government level should have Drug uh, Abuse Control Committee, and below that, the communities should all have WADA clubs, WADA committees, War Against Drug Abuse Committee, down, um, and in the ministries, a WADA desk, so that when you go to do a drug test, there's a focal point in the ministry and, and agency. I should uh, take the opportunity to mention that the NDLA within our statutes has the power to seize property that we find drugs being trafficked in. So this is a strong message to landlords that if you are not careful, you will lose your property. Because if we discover drugs in the property we take everything to court and seek for forfeiture and ultimately to be auctioned away. So landlords should pay attention to their tenants, uh, what the tenants are doing uh, within, within their quarters. <clears throat> In conclusion, um, Your Excellency, just two things. First is to seek uh, your intervention on some of our politicians who want to legalize the use of cannabis. This is something that the World Health Organization itself says causes disorder of the brain, damages the organs, and, and ultimately affects the organs and kills. And yet, some are pushing for its legalization. This is definitely not a uh, one way, because if you look at only the money, 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 money side, what of the life, the health of the society that we are supposed to govern? Um, Your Excellency, we appreciate all that you've done for us in the NDLA Kano State Command, and uh, this matter of the rehabilitation center, our own, which had been promised for completion. This is just a reminder, because I know that the governor remembers this, just a reminder. And uh, second, we have expanded NDLA now to zonal commands. We now have zonal commands. Uh, we have zonal commands, and Kano is the headquarters of one of the zonal commands. And we will really appreciate um, if the 
the state government could support us with accommodation for the command because uh, there's no money in NDLA to rent <laughs> and uh, this is uh, we want to the command the, the, the zonal uh, to, to take off as soon as possible what is keeping us is just these uh, premises just small premises for them <clears throat> and finally is a matter of barracks the, the NDLA is the one paramilitary organization without barracks Every other one has barracks, immigration, customs, everybody has barracks except us. 